I guess my first step in dealing with something like this is to reflect on my own assumptions, where I'm coming from. Am I seeing the whole picture? Do I need to talk to other staff to check that I'm getting the whole message and seeing all the aspects of something that may or may not be concerning me? I think something like the Beatles chart is a really good opportunity to make sure that we're really thinking deeply and checking our own assumptions about what's going on. The next thing I'd do would be to talk to the parents, but I guess that can't be the first contact that I've had with parents. I'd like to take it back to say I need to have built up that trusting and genuine relationship with the parents over a long period of time. So the first thing they're hearing from me can't be about a difficult or challenging issue to do with their child and my student. I think the small regular deposits that will have built up a trusting and caring relationship will enable us to have that difficult conversation far better. Once I do meet the parents, uh, and it would be good to make sure that I'm including all the people who are involved in that child's uh, life or child situation. Once I do meet them, I need to make sure that I'm setting the scene for a win-win situation that is about us helping their child. I need to be careful of language that could be perceived as judgmental or accusatory. I need to make sure clearly that it's about me helping my student, them helping their child, and that we're both after the best interests for that child. I think if we can do that then really we're setting the scene to help that child and work through it as a, a positive, a beneficial way. I think I always uh, liken it to how we would work in an academic sense. Um, we would say how do we remedy an academic weakness, how can we help each other, what can you do, what can I do and how can we support this student so that they go on to thrive and have a, a positive trajectory. I think that's the way I think about uh, supporting mental health issues, just the same as I do with academic issues. I guess there's probably two answers to that. The first is that, in my experience, there is very, very, very few, if any at all, parents who aren't interested in their children's well-being and mental health. I think we do need to be aware that there are many things that can block and challenge us dealing with difficult situations, including mental health. So I think we need to be sensitive about those issues and we need to support the parents to be in a place where they can in turn support their children and my students. I think we also need to, to realise that there are limits to what we can do and we need to make sure that we are aware of those limits and also asking for help when those limits are reached. It not only ensures that we stay within the professional bounds of our profession but also it makes uh, for good modelling of help seeking behaviour that the students and to a certain extent the families will pick up on. Um, I think that said there are lots of things that you can do in class that can support that student but obviously the best outcome is when parents, schools and communities work together to support a student dealing with a difficult time. So who would you turn to if you still had serious <coughs> concerns and nothing was being acted upon? Mm. What's your next step? I guess I'd again answer that by saying the Kids Matter is a great opportunity to actually proactively think through those steps before you get to that point. So I would hope in any school that I worked in there were those steps already put in place so that I knew who to go to. And also so the person I was going to for help was aware that they were going to be called on in these situations. I think that stops us from uh, surprising uh, other staff members with requests for assistance. Um, there needs to be a level of trust built in the staff team and also the community team that will support with schools. Um, so that I can ask, in a, again in setting up a win-win situation, I can ask for support and assistance, but ultimately the, the, the principal holds the responsibility for the school. So at the end of the day, it needs to be going up towards leadership to make decisions or to make supporting, encouraging uh, recommendations for how we can move forward with this challenge.